Hey fam, how are you? This is Church Bishop Creative. I'm putting together this uh, video tutorial to help and assist uh, those that may be having issues with their library from Looploft or installing their Looploft uh, drum uh, kits uh, into their stylus uh, RMX. Uh, from Spectra Sonics. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up and then if you don't mind, subscribe to my channel. So uh, when I do upload new videos, which I do every Tuesday, you will be notified. Okay, down to business. Let's open up uh, my doll. This is my doll of choice. Uh, Ableton Live 9 is what I'm looking at. And I just wanted to open up Stylus RMX so you could uh, witness uh, the truth <laughs> so you could witness uh, what's going on and what I've done okay so I did um, purchase uh, blues drums uh, volume 1 and volume 2 from Loop Loft um, matter of fact I, I purchased lots of things from them uh, but as of late it was uh, the uh, blues uh, and so um, what I want to do is um matter of fact let me close this say no i'm going to open up a new instance um, of um ableton live um, i was doing another recording for something else so i'll just close that and open up a new so you could actually see it open up and actually see it's functioning okay so Here's the RMX uh, module right here. So I double click here. And then so now we have this open. Now I'm going to change the tempo. You can't see it. It's off screen right now. Right now it's set on um, 120 BPMs. I'm going to put it on 76. Okay, so you have to take my word for it. It's 76. Okay, so I'm at the stylus module. If I click here, I'm going to see sound check. Click here again. Oh, on the left side, you see the directory. And under the directory, you have your libraries. You have your core library. Click there. You have your expansion libraries. You have your user libraries. And then you have your user favorites. Okay. So we're going here. Um, the core library, which is right here. If you come down up under the core library, you see the default and you see all of the components I have in the core library. So for example, if I clicked on Epic, there we have them. You probably don't get a good sound because it's coming through my um, computer, not through um, any device that I have set up. Okay, so that's out of the core library. Then we have the expansion library right here. And this is what I have in expansion. Retro, Metro, uh, uh, Metamorphosis, uh, uh, Bonus, uh, Spectrosonics, and so forth. Uh, let's go Retro. Here we go. I think you can hear me. Okay. So now, last but not least, where we want to go, user library. So I just purchased these right here. These blues drums right here. Okay. So um, let's see. Sweet home. Yeah. So it's working. Okay, so it's working. Okay, so I just want to show you that it's working. Okay, so in the user library and each time I make a purchase and I want to use a stylus uh, RMX as my um, 
uh, resource uh, well I will put them in the user libraries okay now we have to navigate to uh, this location so you can see where to actually put those that's important okay so let's see here come down here okay so in your local disk or on your local disk right here what you're going to do you're going to double click okay and it's in this uh, location uh, is where you're going to start but if you notice you don't see program data that's the the folder you need to be in but you don't see program data so uh, you don't see it because it's hidden so we need to unhide it okay so how do we do that go down to your start and right here in the search you type hidden and then up here you see show hidden files and folders click there and there you have it don't show hidden files show hidden files we're gonna click show and click apply okay and then when you come back to here you have program data right there so you what you want to do you want to double click on program data and then scroll down to your spectrasonics folder double click there okay so here's where the difficulty came in because I have a steam folder uh, and then I also have a sage folder it's actually inside this folder right here so if you see uh, this arrow that means it's an alias so it's pointing to this folder which is located somewhere else which is on an external drive and I'll tell you why I did that later if you don't already know so double click there and here are your three folders you want to go in your sage libraries double click here and there's your user library double click and that's where I put my drums right there okay okay so this is the direct uh, folder right here on this side let me close this right here let me don't show okay close that okay so right here if you look um, here's uh, my spectrosonics folder that I created on an external drive so that I'll have room because I have uh, tons and tons and tons of, of uh, instruments uh, soft uh, uh, soft synths and other modules and so I put it on an external drive and so these are my spectrosonics uh, modules so this is my sage and inside the sage library user library there's that folder right there that's the direct location okay so that's how you do it that's all <laughs> there is to it okay so I hope uh, that uh, squashes any uh, ambiguity any difficulty and it allows you to go directly in and see what's going on and you can get started okay and if you like this video I need you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and then also subscribe and um, each Tuesday we put out new videos so you'll be notified if you subscribe okay all right thanks for tuning in this is Church Bishop Creative I'll talk to you soon bye for now